Well, it's the day after the election, and it, it ain't over yet. It's not over. <laughs> Control of the Senate and the majority in the House remain a toss-up. A lot to unpack today with the director of the Marquette Law School poll, Charles Franklin. Welcome back. Hi, Charles. Good, Good to be to here. You. First and foremost, your polls were right on. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. We, we had a good night. <laughs> let's let's uh, look at the two major statewide races. I'd, Let's start with the governor's race. Yeah, so here you saw Tony Evers improve over where he was four years ago, uh, winning by about two, two point four points or so better than his performance four years ago. Why do you think that is? Well, I, I think partly it's an incumbency advantage, but it's also the shift in the issues, and it's also a shift of where the votes are coming from. Evers improved in the bigger places in the state, and that includes the Milwaukee suburbs and in the cities in the Fox Valley. Uh, Michaels did well, and, and Johnson did well, in the north and west of the state, but mo mostly in smaller places. And so those two partially balanced out, but the net effect was to improve Democratic chances. And you saw a similar shift in the Senate race as well, and I think substantially for the same reasons. Now, what role issues like abortion and crime play, that's another topic, but just the geography of the vote, Dems did better in the bigger places. Let's take a look at the Senate numbers from last night. That wasn't called until today. That was a little <coughs> bit of a cliffhanger overnight. It certainly was, and we saw that tighten and move back and forth a little bit overnight, but then end up with what last I saw was still a one-point uh, Johnson win. Here, much the same thing, where the crime issue got so much play in the Senate race, and there was a lot of discussion that that might move the suburbs back to the Republicans, but in fact, Johnson did considerably worse in the wow counties around Milwaukee than he did six years ago, just as he, uh, uh, Michaels did a, a similarly worse. About 40,000 fewer net votes from the three wow counties for Republicans falling into the very high 50s, which used to be unheard of in, in the wow counties. So, so did people split their vote, split their ballot? It looks like they must have. The difference in turnout between between the governor and the Senate race is pretty small. And so I think there has to be some level of crossover voting. We were seeing that at below 5% in the survey. It'll be interesting to work the numbers from the actual votes and see was it near 5%, a little above or a little below. Let's take a look at the numbers in the race for attorney general as well. Yeah. Well, this one had some drama in the wee hours this morning where it looked like it got really <laughs> tight, but then in the end, Josh Call came back to a uh, uh, two-point victory. I think from a policy point of view, if we can talk policy for a second, the what this does for state government was important in that it leaves divided government with the governor and the legislature, it keeps a Democratic attorney general. We weren't that far from flipping those two to Republican wins, and that would have led the state in a very different policy direction. Here, we'll still be dealing with divided government and impasses, but the, the sort of opportunity that Republicans saw to take the state off in a sharp change of direction, that was lost. And for Democrats, that was prevented uh, by last night's results. And no supermajority in either the Senate nor the, uh, nor the House. No, uh, coming awfully close, but not quite there. And so overriding vetoes probably won't be a thing. Turnout was huge, especially in yeah. Dane County. Dane, Young people. Oh, yeah, Dane County gets bigger and bigger and bigger. I'll be really interested to see the voter file in a few months when it gets updated to see really what the turnout was with young people statewide. Um, really, Dane County increased its share of the total statewide vote by a bit. Uh, the only place that really stands out for a fall off is Milwaukee County that dropped 47,000 votes compared to four years ago in the midterm. Mm -hmm. That's a large drop off. Now, the vote margin actually improved for Democrats there, but the 
leaving 47,000 votes on the table in Milwaukee is sort of akin to Republicans falling by 40,000 net votes in the suburbs. You mean that was the difference for Barnes? Not quite. I ran the numbers. It would have brought Barnes within about 12 or 13,000, but not put him ahead. Okay. If you only assign those 47,000 to voting the same way that those who showed up did. A lot more to talk about, unfortunately. I know. We're we need so much more time. <laughs> the story continues. Charles, great to see you. Yeah, we'll have to have another election and take up these topics. <laughs> I, I think we have one coming up. I hear that. Charles, Good to see you, you, Charles. Thanks.